Isn't it funny how we go through life never really knowing what the next second might hold? Like this moment, right here. Today I'm going to be making some simple floating corner shelves for my sister while doing my best to keep all of my fingers attached. This is another side of the road dining table that I picked up a few months ago. I've been cutting pieces off it for the past few months just for random projects here and there. And today I started by cutting out a 19 inch by 19 inch square using my track saw. Once that was done, I had to turn this square into a circle. There's lots of ways to do this, but I decided to find the center of this piece of wood by drawing a line from corner to corner and then corner to corner and put a screw directly through the center into my table saw sled. And then you can rotate your board, removing a little at a time. When you're pulling your sled back from the cut, you run the risk of your circle getting caught in the blade and throwing your hand directly into it. Lucky for me, the wood caught the blade before my hand did. Unlike this guy. But here's another way to cut a circle. I attached my router to a piece of eighth inch plywood. I think you'd be much better off using clear plexiglass for this, but for the sake of the demonstration, I used plywood. Screw the other end of this plywood onto the center of your circle like so. You're going to want to do this on the bottom of your board so that that little hole will not show later. And then you can spin that bad boy around in circles, lowering the router bit by an eighth of an inch at a time until, voila, you have cut a circle out of a piece of wood. Oddly enough, this quote safer way of getting things done actually ended up getting me hurt. The weight of the router flung the piece of wood up into my face and cut my lip. Thought I lost a tooth for a second there. So anyway, I actually ended up finishing my circle on my table saw using my table saw sled because I had already started that way and I figured I'd just be extra careful. Make sure you hold on to this very tightly while you're doing it. This square piece of wood was bigger than my table saw sled so I was going to have to make some cuts, then move it over a little bit, then make some more cuts and move it over a little bit until I had a 19 by 19 inch circle. Once I had that circle cut out, it was time to split the circle directly in half using the same exact table saw sled that you just saw me use. All I did was line up one of the lines I had already drawn on this circle to find the center. With the cut of my table saw sled, I ran it through that and I had split this directly in half. Then I could move over to my miter saw and cut it into quarters. I now have four quarter round pieces that will be used for four quarter round shelves. After that, I brought them over to my drum sander, ran them through the drum sander, you could easily just sand them. You don't have to have a drum sander to get this done. Then I used this doweling jig that I grabbed off of Amazon to drill holes down into one side of each corner. The doweling jig will just help you make sure that your holes are going straight down into the piece. Once I had those holes drilled, I could round over the front of each one of these using a round over bit in my router. Then I sanded them all to 220, and then I brought them back over to my miter saw where I could cut the side that had the holes on it. Once I had that piece cut off of all of my four corner shelves, I could cut some dowels that will fit right into these holes, and I could glue them into the small little piece that I had cut off of these. I stained them with this ugly brown stain that's going to match the ugly brown cabinets in her stupid house. Just kidding, Jamie. Your cabinets aren't ugly and your house isn't stupid, but your face is. Then I sealed them with some boiled linseed oil and headed over to her house to hang them up. Hanging them up is very easy. Just make sure you get them nice and level. Then you can screw these directly to the wall. On that one side, there was no stud to screw to, so I just put in an anchor, as you can see right there. And then I screwed this directly to the wall and then it just slides right on and voila, there you go. I'm not going to bore you with the uh, installation of all of them because you don't need to see that. It was just the same process over and over again. But there you go. Four nice little corner shelves in the kitchen right next to the window to hold some uh, random bullshit that my sister decided would look cool there. Anyway. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Later. Bye. See you again. And have a good dream.